Yo, how cute is this cup? Brian Little. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. I probably have not vlogged all summer. And yes, that was intentional. I wanted to really pour into the content that you guys have been, you know, this wig. Anyway, I wanted to pour more um, time and creativity into the content that I feel like you guys were watching the most. But also then I looked at the analytics and things were just kind of like a little wild because when I started doing more try on hauls, which is what I thought, you know, what was performing the best. Um, as of recently, that's kind of dropped. Like the amount of views that I used to get on my try on hauls has kind of dropped. So I was like, let me go back to doing what I not. I mean, I like doing try on hauls. I don't want to say like. I don't because I do, but trying to do try on hauls during the summer is a struggle. If you've been watching my try on hauls, you already know. <laughs> so I um, want to get back into vlogging. I was work from home the entire month of August, which was like so amazing. But starting this Tuesday, which is September 6th, um, day after labor day i'm going to be going back into the office two days a week so um i feel like i'll be in a more comfortable space i.e my car um and some air conditioning which i am right now and then as the seasons change as the weather breaks um it'll be an even more comfortable experience for me am i ashy no i'm not great so that being said today i am on my way y'all i'm late per usual. i am on my way to a dentist appointment i'm going to get a checkup i'm going to get a crown place over um the tooth where i had a root canal not gonna tell y'all how long ago i was supposed to get that done but life happened okay <laughs> and then i am probably gonna hang out with my mom for a bit and then i have zumba later which I'm gonna talk to my instructor because typically Friday's classes are super light. And I'm gonna ask him, let me just check to see if I have a package, I don't. Um, you know, sometimes people feel a little weird about it, but like, I feel like his, you know, Zumba choreography is so dope and I feel like you guys will really like it. Um, and I feel like you guys will really like him too because I really love his classes. So Zumba's happening later and then after that, it's gonna be kind of a chill. Um, I was off today because my job is thebomb.com and so we have like this sort of like four day weekend situation. So I am taking advantage to one, take care of my oral hygiene and health and also just kind of do things that I want to do. It's 2 p.m. I have to be to the dentist office at 3. So I am going to check in with you guys when we get there and after y'all i get really nervous at the dentist's office because they typically will put like that heavy x-ray thing on your chest and it's already small in there and it's already like all of these machines and lights that you're looking up at and it's just like giving like hostile slash saw slash horror film and it like internally i'm screaming but at most I think the first time I went to this particular dentist's office, the lady was like, oh my God, are you okay? Because she saw like this one tear falling out the side of my eye. Yep, that's me at the dentist's office. <laughs> so we're gonna go and I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel. Um, and y'all, that was just a checkup. And when sis came back and said I needed a root canal, y'all, <laughs> I was calling my, um, he was my boyfriend at the time, but I was calling my husband and i was calling um my mom and i'm like if i don't make it <laughs> but no like i was just nervous about the pain um which halfway through i was starting to feel the drill a little bit and i had to tell her like yo 
whatever you gave me earlier, I need more because I am feeling this. Um, and that's what I'm most nervous about when it comes to any type of surgery. I don't want to feel anything. I'm okay with being in pain after, but like while it's happening, child, y'all, let me go for I'm late. We'll talk. y'all i'm back um the experience was less than an experience like it, it, it was no short of an experience i mean so i went in and i got completely yelled at because it's been almost two years since i went back to get my crown and they were like this is very bad like you could have got an infection or, you know, the the crown could have not fit. Needless to say, everything worked out and I got my crown and I'm out of there. But 100%, like they were right. But like life happened. I moved. I had COVID twice. Like things were going on in life and everything is fine. And they were like, oh, you're so lucky. And I'm like, mm, no, I'm blessed. Because that is literally nothing but God's favor because it really could have gone left. It really could have gone left and I could have been like in a really bad situation when it comes to my oral health. Um, but thankfully everything is fine. I got my teeth cleaned. Um, a homeboy went in on, te on cleaning my teeth. I was just like, okay. <laughs> um, but y'all, I'm always so nervous when I go to the dentist because especially when they do the x-rays and they're putting that like heavy you know thing on your chest i just be feeling like i'm being held down i don't like it um and it's just like ugh. i feel like i'm also always getting yelled at when i go to the dentist and i just be like i didn't come here for that <laughs> but i definitely can do better at like building a more well-rounded oral hygiene routine i'm not gonna lie about that um so let's do that and i feel like if y'all want to see that as far as content let's do that <laughs> i do have to go back i do have a cavity um homegirl was talking about pulling my wisdom tooth and i was like for what because of a cavity because right now like we don't need to pull teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't need to pull teeth. Um, let's find an alternative. I know y'all probably get off on pulling teeth being, you know, in the dental industry. But, like, we don't need to pull our teeth. No, ma'am. So, now it is about to be 5 o'clock. And I have about an hour and a half to kill hour and a half maybe yeah of time to kill so number one i need to find a chick-fil-a because um i ordered my groceries on amazon prime yesterday and they arrived same day which i love when that happens i just ordered like a bunch of like chicken i got salmon uh let me see what else i got i got a bunch of greens i got my fruits and you know just the good stuff the things that i like to have um in the house especially now that i'm going back into the office two days a week uh i also ordered some glass sort of like smoothie um cups with the thick sort of like bubble tea um straws because I want to start drinking smoothies in the morning to see how that makes me feel and then obviously I'll have my lunch and um, 
dinner when I come home with my snacks in between. But I say all that to say that I only have this orange with me right now as a snack. I had a light breakfast this morning, which was like my Target Starbucks um, iced coffee that I've kind of mastered with this oat milk pumpkin spice creamer that I've just been really enjoying. And a strawberry, um, strawberries and yogurt non-fat greek yogurt and then also i had one red apple with cinnamon on it which y'all is giving me apple pie and i really didn't realize how much i enjoyed that and also i got this apple slicer on amazon that i'm obsessed with and i've just been able to eat my apples in A more aesthetic like way an easier way especially like when I'm working because um, sometimes I'll cut the apple pieces like too large and I'm done with the apple faster than I would like to be like does anybody like to just eat their food um, slowly I feel like that has you know helped a lot and one thing I want to say if you don't know I am officially, what's it, 31, 32, officially 33 days into using um, a nutrition and wellness platform called Noom. And I'm already down like 16 pounds. Yeah, I just said 16 pounds. So, and that's in a little over a month. So I've been really learning about triggers that I have when it comes to how I eat obviously I've known you know from prior attempts at diets and you know just kind of toxic weight loss culture I've learned that I've done things wrong in the past and it's been this whole year has been a season of unlearning and I feel like deciding to do noom when i did just aligned with everything that was going on in my life like obviously month of august was great because i didn't have to worry about trying to build these new habits while commuting to work and you know just dealing with a lot of things around just i'll just say it like leaving the house like a lot of times leaving the house and it can really interfere with um your nutrition and, and your wellness when you're trying to make that transition into eating better and being prepared um, to take on the day and make sure that you are equipped with the things that you need to make sure that you're just eating healthier. Um, I wanted to embark on a journey that would require me to eat more greens. This wasn't about, you know, attacking myself for eating a certain way i just was not eating enough of the things my body needed to thrive and be healthy i was eating no grains y'all i was not drinking any water and that is just not good so um i have been drinking a lot more water i'll be honest with you i need to um really get some more water going in the past couple of days i haven't been drinking enough water i got this 32 ounce mason jar um from amazon as a way to really push myself to start drinking more water 32 ounces in in, in theory doesn't sound like a lot but to me it kind of was <laughs> so i made it a point to drink more water i started adding greens to at least two of my meals every day. Right now it's just been like leafy greens, broccoli, um, greens that I enjoy. I am not about eating things that I do not enjoy when it comes to, you know, being healthy. I am not gonna force myself to eat something that, that I don't like. Like I'm not a fan of Brussels sprouts. I'm not gonna eat those probably. But um, I'll eat spinach, I'll eat asparagus, I'll eat, you know, those kinds of, of greens no problem I've also 
there'll be a video coming out on you know my first month on Noom and what I think about the program and if I think it's worth it and those kind of things but um so stay tuned for that um it actually may be out before you see this video so yeah just been unlearning a lot of things um especially when it comes to even how we cook certain foods uh I have been befriending my air fryer. Um, my air fryer has made eating healthy a lot more attainable. Uh, I do want to invest in a larger one though. I want to invest in an air fryer that is dual because I've had to cook one thing at a time and then put it in the oven and then cook another. I would rather cook my protein and you know my greens at the same time as opposed to one at a time so definitely looking into a more efficient air fryer situation and then y'all i've been going in on the zumba i'm a zumba girl and i have been and i've been going to zumba for the past month i'd probably say five days a week and it has done wonders for my mood like, I am in a good mood after Zumba. I just am. And maybe that's endorphins or whatever, but like, I just feel great. So I kind of feel like when it comes to creating new habits and embarking on a healthier journey, Noom has been helpful on the nutrition end and on, on learning bad habits and, and re, you know recognizing my triggers and things like that because it comes from an angle of psychology but on the fitness end um just doing something that i love and getting up and moving my body and doing it every day that has all contributed to this 15 16 pounds that i've lost so far um not so much focused on the weight but really focused on how i feel 1000 percent. i feel good i feel good so I have a couple of hours to kill before my Zumba class. So I'm probably gonna go to Home Goods or something like that. But I will check in with you guys in a few. So I just got out of Zumba and I apologize for the lighting. Um, it seems like daylight savings is kicking in a little bit earlier than usual. It's only eight o'clock and it's like, looks like this already. So I'm sorry about the quality being jacked up, but I wanted to check in. Zumba was lit tonight. It was kind of like a freestyle Friday kind of vibe, which I kind of like because we get to talk to the instructor, vibe out. Sometimes he lets us um, have input on, you know, putting together new dances. Um, and I eventually want to start filming certain sections of his class because he's pretty dope. And um, Zumba kind of has always been a big part of my life um from like 2011 like ever since then I took my first Zumba class and I was like in love and it's it's the workout for me that makes me feel good um it's an hour long of basically just dancing and I love it this lighting is trash and I do apologize, my camera's crooked. It's just not given what it's supposed to have gave. So, sorry, I think I just turned the camera off. So as I said, I'm gonna check in with you guys when I get home. If not, when I get some better lighting. Um, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, so it is, it is Saturday. I'm trying to get the date y'all i think today is the third yeah saturday september 3rd and i am on my way to pick up my godson my seatbelt is on i just have it like under because i'll be feeling like it's cutting me so 
I got my seatbelt on. <laughs> um, on my way to pick up my godson, we are going to the Harry Potter store in New York. And I am excited. Y'all can tell I have on my Hogwarts shirt. I'm trying to get to this store since it opened. And I'm excited to be going today. The weather is beautiful today. Yeah, and I'm on time. Like I told him I would be picking him up between 11.30 and 12. It's about 11.50. So super excited. It's gonna be me, him, and my mom is coming with. Hopefully they let me vlog. Um, I was gonna bring my vlogging camera, but I was like, I could probably sneak a few, um, uh, I could probably sneak a few clips here and there when it comes to just kind of being in the store. And then I have my tripod because I want to take photos as well. Cause y'all know I'm extra. <laughs> so it'll be obviously like photos for my stories and stuff. Happy to be back vlogging. I do enjoy the vlogging process. Just kind of taking you throughout my day, throughout my week. And I love the editing process. So I'm, I'm glad to get back into it um, and take a, a little bit of a break from the try on hauls just for a little bit. I do want to do a fall transition one very soon and maybe um, fall boots for wide feet. That kind of a different kind of try on haul a footwear try on haul very soon um which i kind of haven't really done before so i'm trying to figure out how i'm gonna film that and i'm kind of excited about filming it so yeah y'all i am going to get back into my driving y'all like this hair i'm trying to like get used to it I've been trying to wear like more yakky textures when it comes to my wigs because they mimic my, you know, natural hair if it was flat ironed. And this color is very much my natural hair color, which when I took the hair out of the bag, I was in shock and I was like, yo, this is literally my natural hair color. <laughs> so I'm kind of feeling this wig. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think. I know y'all gonna keep it real. <laughs> so I will see you guys when we are making our way into the city and probably when we get to the store. I know the check-in process to get to the store is a little weird, especially on the weekends. Like you have to do like this QR um, code scanning. And then typically you have to wait until they call you to tell you that you can come back and kind of like line up to go into the store. I'm like, dang, like, I hope that's not the case today because I'm not trying to be just like waiting in the city for however many hours. I'm hoping it's not that big of a deal. Like, we just want to go in, look around, maybe buy a few things and get out of there <laughs> and get some food or something after. But yeah, y'all, I'm excited. If you see me fangirl out or act crazy, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So, I'm gonna catch y'all later.
the gray one. Oh, he is? It's all right. Jordan. Um, no. A house quiz? Mm -hmm. So you don't know what house you're in? Um, Gryffindor? You're guessing? Um, can I guess? <laughs> you can't guess. You gotta get sorted into a house. Oh. You can't even see me Cause all that is me to be on you I'm just saying I'm me Yeah I'm not to call that you talk to the good girl I'll see my world Butterbeer is crazy. And they also yeah. came out with a butterbeer ice cream, which my mom has. Right. And she's gonna let melt. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Let it melt. They did not have to snap on that butterbeer ice cream like that. <laughs> it is really good. Y'all, so that was fun. And yeah. you had fun, Jordan? Yeah. I can't believe you picked pass me the dragon. So and, and remind me, Jordan, how, uh, tell the people how old you are. 13. So you're 13? Yeah. You're officially a teenager. Mm -hmm. And he picked this over Professor Snape's wand. Now, mind you, it was only a $9 difference between the wand and this, and he picked this. You gonna fly it when you get home? Yeah. <laughs> I have a wand that I can't find that was broken. I got it broken. It's broken? It's broken? Why is your window open, Jordan? Oh, uh, yeah. Because he was it. burning. He couldn't be burning. When he got here first. I'm going to need you to... some food after my butterbeer is turning into something else um, but I'm so happy that I got the cup um, love that little commemorative situation I gotta put some gloss on my lips because they are D double R triple I and some lotion on my hands because I didn't have my lotion on me Ooh, when I left the restaurant. Oof, y'all heard that? Mm, dry. I gotta do my hand care routine when I get home tonight. All right. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. I really like, I really had fun. I think you guys, I think that'll come across um, in the video. <laughs> hey, Louis. So I am on my way back home from the city. Um, actually, went to dinner. I just had to delete and offload a ton of apps and photos and videos in my phone because sis was not trying to let me vlog. Uh, but it looks like it's working now. But um, I wanted to talk about 
my experience after I checked out the Harry Potter store. So after checkout, there's like this further entrance um, to the butterbeer area where you can pick up butterbeer and butterbeer ice cream. So I heard people talking about the ice cream in the store and I was like, oh no, we gotta see what this is. Y'all, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, they did not have to snap how they did on this butterbeer ice cream. It was so good and I, I didn't eat all of it because I didn't want to give myself a sugar high because I hadn't eaten all day, but that was bomb. But when the guy gave me the ice cream, he gave it to me in this cup. I thought it was going to come like in the butter beer glass, which they should really consider doing. Um, but anyway, I was like, oh, you know, do you mind? Because um, he had already started to ring me up. And I was like, do you mind? I want to buy um, the butter beer too because I really want the cup. So there was a lady that was like pouring the butter beer. And she was like earlier on when I was placing the order for the ice Okay. So I'm gonna try to make this quick because my phone keeps cutting off. So I ended up getting the butter beer for free because homegirl liked my hair and makeup. And I was like, dang, like it made me feel good in the moment. But now I'm sitting here thinking about it. Like I also feel good when I see other people put together. And sometimes I be wanting to give stuff away to people because I be like, dang, like this person is a good vibe. So I ended up getting this butter beer um and the cup for free and i was like yes because i already spent like a hundred dollars in there i'm gonna show you when i get home i'm gonna show you the the wands that i got but i am about to go into target um to pick up a few things and then i'll be on my way back home because i got to do some laundry and stuff and i don't want to be doing laundry all day tomorrow so let's go on to target you can't even see me I'm just saying I can Yeah, why don't you call that you talk to the girl? I'll see my world Yeah, I'm not 
So I'm back home, um, about to relax. My face is all oily now, but today was a good day. I feel really good. I'm going to relax and do some editing and maybe do some more meal prep for tomorrow and Monday. I really don't have any Labor Day plans, which is like fine with me. Not my lace lifting, y'all. But yeah, glad to be home. Glad to put my feet up. My girl Kyra just dropped a new video, so I'm about to go watch that. And then, yeah, just do some editing. Birkin, y'all, don't get a ginger cat. <laughs> if I don't talk to y'all tonight, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, Luz. Um, it's around 8.30. It is Tuesday, September 6th, and I am on my way into the city. As you can see, it is raining. <laughs> it is raining, it's 72 degrees. It feels like an autumn morning. Um, when I woke up this morning, I did not think that it would be given off this vibe but I'm kind of feeling it, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, not so much the clouds, but just feeling the transition of the weather, I think is, it is more or less making me feel really excited about fall. So, I'm not gonna lie, I had a little bit of anxiety last night. I had a hard time falling asleep. Um, could really have a lot to do with um, performance anxiety around doing my job well. It's something that I really suffer with that, ooh, that looks a little better. Especially with being a black woman, um, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be not essentially the best of the best, but especially when it comes to giving ourselves grace and allowing room for ourselves to make mistakes. And I just really don't ever feel like I have the luxury of doing any of that and I'm constantly anxious um, and nervous when it comes to doing my job well. Um, I think this is the first time I've really spoken out about that. So, yeah, I am going to focus on this drive, have my, my breakfast smoothie, and get into the city safely. <laughs> so I'm going to use this time to, well, you know what? <sighs> Let me stay stress-free and positive. I'm outside in a damn jeep, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me. What is happening with my iPhone? This is literally gonna cut off in like five seconds. Is it gonna keep recording? As I was saying, I had a rough morning and uh, thankfully it's going to be a nicer evening. Ooh. But I say all that to say, I have recently accepted a fall fashion challenge beginning on September 12th, meaning I have to shoot seven looks this weekend. Y'all, <laughs> I kind of need the challenge though, because what that means is I need to be posting every day for I think four weeks. And I really need that to be something that I am holding myself accountable to. And it's for one of my social media sisters um, who invited me to it. So I kind of feel like I'll be letting her down if I don't do it. Y'all, my hands are giving ashy and we don't like it. So yeah, like I kind of, first of all, why am I giving Oompa Loompa? 
there we go and i'm sorry that y'all are crooked but like i just really don't have the time to adjust it i washed my hands so many times today it wasn't even y'all still crooked as crooked as heck <laughs> so yeah i am on my way out of the city and y'all my car is almost on e like i'm just out here living dangerously honestly but my favorite zumba instructor is gonna be subbing for one of my other favorite instructors classes tonight and it just really gave me because she was gonna cancel which i was like no like don't cancel um but she ended up getting him to cover her class and i'm like bet bet i'm so excited so um it's gonna make for a better y'all i'm two seconds from throwing this wig in the garbage because it's giving me agita it just will not shape itself so yeah let me put this air back on before i die Yo, how cute is this cup? It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. Got this cup on Amazon. It has like this wooden lid with a hole in it for my glass straw. I thought it was a vibe. Um, what I like about it is I can put my smoothie in it in the morning. And then I use this as my water cup to drink out of um, when I'm in the office during the day. Felt like a good idea to me. So I'm glad I did that. But I just wanted to check in because I feel like I didn't check in yesterday and I didn't check in on Monday, I don't think. If I did, don't pay me no mind, y'all. But yeah, I'm on my way home. And tonight, I definitely have to do some planning and styling for the looks that I wanna shoot because they, they gotta hit. And I might place an accessory order. They gotta hit. <laughs> These looks gotta hit. Um. Ooh, I might need to call my homegirl to come and shoot with me if she wants to or to come and help me because um, I'm going to need help. I'm not even going front. This is definitely something that I need help with. Y'all, I'll be so stressed. I got to check the weather. But yeah, and it's, it's going to be even like, I don't even want to say even worse, but it's going to be even more complicated because I'm shooting fall looks. Um, so that's me bringing out like my bombers and my leather pieces and you know Just getting back into boots and booties <gasps> Oh, this Madewell campaign is adorable Y'all I just ordered these brown Oh wait, did I get the brown? Torrid has these boots that I need If you are, you know, wide calfed or wide footed Like me Torrid Torrid. Fashion of Figure hasn't dropped their um, fall footwear yet, but I'm expecting some more fire for you know from them. I got boots from them um, last year. I got my like Chelsea boots from them last year, which I'm obsessed with. I almost bought another pair from Torrid, but I was like, hold up, you already have a pair, so please don't buy them again in black. Um, they didn't have them in any other colors, so but I'm keeping my eye open. But yeah, I ordered those from torrid and then i'm trying to figure out what looks i want to put together i'd be overcomplicating things though in my head like i need to make it like wearable attainable <sighs> Ooh, i need to place an amazon order too because there's some amazon pieces i think i want to include all right okay okay y'all so I will check in with you guys later on in the week um, and hopefully get to show you what I do this weekend. Stay tuned. Hey, Luz. So I'm filming on a different camera. Whew, out of breath. I've been running up and down the stairs, but I'm getting ready to shoot some reels for that. I think I was telling y'all about the 30 day fall fashion challenge. Um, so I have to shoot seven looks this weekend. I have prepped for today. The plan was to shoot them on location. I'm just gonna shoot them on my front porch only because with fall, there's so much layering involved where I'm just like, <laughs> it 
it's gonna have to give what it gives kind of situation so i am checking with you guys on my vlog camera which i don't use enough but i want to get back into using because i film a lot of my real content on my iphone which is downstairs um and i don't want to kill the battery or have to stop in between for you guys to see how i'm going through this process so let's get started <music> So y'all can see I'm sweating like crazy. Um, but I'm done filming. I did four reels. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do three more and that'll be my seven for the week. Uh, right now, y'all saw me just now packaging up this box. That is some returns that I have to go back to Paw Shop. I had, you know, some fit issues with items from them. So unfortunately, I have to send those items back. I had to put my um, edge slayer back on because it's looking rough under there. And before I leave out, I'm gonna have to um, change and, and fix my edges. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys this dress that I picked up from Fashion Nova. And I got it, let me see if I can show y'all here. It's a 1X, I got it, um, Cause typically in fashion over i'm a 3x and i got it because i wanted to to kind of gauge how it fits how the fit changes as my body changes as my measurements change so yeah it's a cute little like rocker style dress but y'all know the one thing that gets me is these sleeves let me zoom y'all in y'all probably can't really see So it is super tight right now, but it's the sleeves for me. Like these sleeves, a mesh top, obsessed. So yeah, this is gonna be that dress that I gauge to kind of see how my body is changing. I'm, I am weighing myself on a daily basis, but that's not the only way that you can really show, you know, a change in your body. Cause as you put on muscle mass or, you know, get on your period or anything, the scale can tell you something very different. So this time around, I'm gonna pay more attention to uh, my measurements. Y'all, what was going on with the camera? I'm sorry, I promise I'll do better. <laughs> I promise I'll do better. So yes, it is hot. Birkin, can y'all come get him? Anybody want a cat? Y'all, he is so rude. So yeah, I'm glad I got those looks out of the way. It actually took me a little bit more time to plan the looks out than I thought it would, um, which is why I only did four. And I also didn't want to kill myself trying to do seven in one day because I do have tomorrow and I want to utilize that time. And then also I have to film a sit down video. So yeah, I will be back probably when I'm sitting in the car. All right. Y'all, it is so disrespectfully hot today. It don't even make sense. So I just came back from um, this shoe repair place because I ordered a pair of boots from Fashion Nova. Y'all know I have issues with my footwear in general because of my lymphedema. But I saw these boots and I was like, absolutely not. I need to have them. I'll take it to my shoe repair guy. So I just left the shoe repair place. We both figured out together like how we're going to customize the boot so that it fits me effortlessly and like flawlessly but i'm like why can't we just make boots a little thicker like a little wider in the calves like it wasn't even my lymphedema that's the issue i i just naturally have juicy calves and 
on both of my legs so half the time when people see me they're like I can't even really see your lymphedema and it's not until they touch my leg or you know see me trying to get into my boots and they're like oh crap you do have lymphedema and I'm like why would I lie about that <laughs> so I just came from there and then I gotta make a return to Torrid because yet again another pair of boots will not zip over my calves and these boots are from Torrid and Torrid is supposed to you know the boots ain't supposed to be doing that boots is supposed to be booting so I'm headed back to the Torrid um, a few towns over from me I'm glad that I can make the return in store because I really didn't feel like having to wait and then it gives me an excuse to go into the store and see what they got going on I've been hearing great things about their denim so I'm excited to kind of you know get a sneak peek into what that's looking like and y'all I've been craving a chai tea latte iced from Starbucks so I think that will be happening today mm -hmm. but I gotta go easy because I gotta be mindful of my sugar intake because a lot of times these drinks hidden and added sugars so I gotta be mindful of that and then trying to see what else I want to do I might take myself to dinner I don't know it's it's 4 30 I can't believe I didn't put my watch on what is going on in life um it's about 10 after 4 and I'm just glad to be out of the house glad to be done with recording and filming in all honesty and I just need to do something my husband's working he's supposed to be off but he's at work so i'm like i don't want to sit in the house all day like i sit in the house when i work from home so i want to go out do something i might go to home goods um to look around to do things i probably ain't even supposed to be doing but anyway y'all let me know what you think about the the vlog camera versus my iphone i just know the iphone is always gonna hit in 4k but sometimes it is difficult for me to remember to film on that thing just being honest with you but if I have my vlog camera I have my Sony vlog camera here um, I don't have to and I have my seatbelt on it's just under my boobs because it'd be trying to strangle me I swear but at least this way I don't have to be on my phone you know vlogging and it, when it's hot like this what happens is my phone will start to overheat when I have it on the dashboard and I ain't got time. What is this person doing? Oh, she's taking photos. We love a content creator. We love a content creator. So I'm going to see if the gals in Torrid will let me vlog. Hey, y'all, I used to work with Torrid. So, yeah, that's what I got going on. Driving to Torrid right now. And I'm going to be respectful and ask them if they don't mind me vlogging because... I want no beef. All right, y'all. Catch you in a bit. I would like to get to know what you could be. What kind of girl that you could be down for? Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me. Hey. All right, y'all. So I am back. Y'all, it is just disrespectfully hot today. So that return went smoothly. They had some cute stuff in there. They were starting to um, bring out like, you know, obviously the fall stuff and things like that. But I was too sad about having to return those boots. But there was a Sephora next door. And if you can see, I look a little different. I picked up a new lippy. I'm super excited about this lipstick because it's a color that I haven't worn in years. And damn. I have this small bag from Fashion Nova. And when I tell you I lose everything in this bag, it makes no sense to me. I got this new gloss, which this is like an old one I have and then I have like a deeper brown. But this one is like the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, buttery, buttery. Highly recommend if you don't already have it. And then I picked up this Maybelline Matte Lip. That's what I'm wearing right now this get ready to be my autumn color packaging is cute sleek what are we calling it this is the illuminate matte lipstick you're welcome <laughs>